got a couple expert RV experts here and one heck of a coach behind us. What's going on here, Louie? Well, we got a 2006 Monaco Executive. It's a 45 footer with three slides. I kind of like it because it's a lot easier to get your compartment bay doors down here. So you don't have to worry about the slide kind of invading it, getting in your way. And like Brian showed you here, the door lifting straight up like this is awesome. Looks like a Dometics on the slide out tray there. What's going on here, Brian? Huge thanks to the RV Glass Guru for sponsoring today's video. RV Glass Guru specializes in large one piece windshield replacement. They have a team of installers that service the entire state of Arizona, as well as a nationwide network. They put a new windshield in my Tiffin over a year ago, and I couldn't be more happy with the service I received. The RV Glass Guru offers discounts to veterans and first responders. Thank you to all of you that have served our country. The other thing is the patio awning, the Gerard awning comes out right here. It's going to come down 15 feet and doesn't have to worry about going over a slide room. So it's going to stay a lot lower to the ground. So if you have dogs and things like that and just shade, this gives you a lot more shade for the coach than any other application. So. Yeah, and you get a couple extra feet with the slide out being in, yep. you gain that couple extra feet of awning space of shade there as well. So. So it's like we got the little exterior freezer refrigerator. That's it's just more daddy daddy. one right there. Yeah, it's oh. the big Mac Daddy. You can get at least a turkey in there. <laughs> and then you slide it on your tray and you have your outside burner and Thanksgiving's ready to go at Glamis, you know? Now does the extra doorstep and the grill come with the coach? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Whatever you see is what you get. <laughs> Looks like they've given it up and you get to take the package if when you tour it, you like it. And all that stuff adds up. So that's something good to keep in mind when buying a coach if you don't already own all that stuff. I really like these uh, stainless uh, sleeves here at the bottom, or what are these called here? Yeah, so that's the stainless accent package that Summit sells. And somebody's actually bought the complete stainless kit from Summit aftermarket supply on the stainless, and then it was all installed on there. It looks really good. It doesn't look to be beat up or anything. It gives it a cool effect. Especially at night, if you were to take the time and put some undercoach lighting under here, you really make this thing pop out there. And is that something you guys do here at Premier? Can you guys do the undercoach lighting? Oh yeah, we've done it for multiple coaches, you know. Well, actually, a few weeks ago, we did some undercoach lighting, except it was actually under this slide room. So if you've got the large slide room right here, and you need a little more lighting on the ground, you throw the LED strip lights in the bottom of the slide room, and then it's gonna light up this whole area right here under your slide. And it's a cool effect. You're getting into that on a lot of the 2021 manufacturers are doing that now. Stock, yeah. And do you know roughly about what that costs? Um, I think it's about 120 an hour and about uh, 150 bucks worth of parts, probably about two hours, maybe three hours. Depends on your configuration of coach and whatnot. Everything's just an estimate, never a quote. You know? Yeah, so no, I hear you. Hopefully we shoot you a high estimate and we always trick shoot to come in under it. So, yeah. So 500 bucks, you could do a lot of lighting. Yeah. yeah, 500 bucks, cool. It's got an outside TV, looks like. So this is yeah. a pull-out TV. The uh, extension cord comes with the coach as well? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a, a Vizio updated TV outside. Uh, this coach also comes with the collision avoidance. You'll see the Vorad system here. So the sensors on the side wow. in the front of the coach. So what year was this coach? Gosh, Brian, probably 05. I want to say 05 was the first year that we put it in any product to country coach because I remember going through the R&D and coming up with the test procedure of that. So yeah, I would say 05 and it's got the indicators on the eight pillars. It's just like your new modern cars with all the knickknacks and goo And, and I, I did drive this coach and what was kind of cool about it is if you didn't like the front slowing you down on the cruise control, you could actually shut it off. So. It does kind of beep quite a bit, uh, but you could shut the whole system off while driving. So. Wow, so that was really state-of-the-art technology back in 2006. I remember yeah. Mercedes had the Disktronic system that they came out with kind of around that same time. Looks like, you know, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of pitting here on the mirrors here. It is a 15-year-old yeah. coach here. But the cool thing about this chassis is it's got the semi monocoque chassis, which we all know by now. It eliminates the twisting and the flexing. Gives a lot more strength to the coach from a longevity standpoint on how long the coach is going to last. But with this package, this 
customer ordered it with the Series 60 Detroit. So that's a great engine. Obviously, you're familiar with those with the buses and stuff, but they actually have it on a Monaco Executive. So. Yeah, pre-DEF. I do have to point out there is a little bit of checking in the paint here. Yeah. That's something you got to really look for in these older coaches um, that, that can be. But with the Series 60, 125 grand for just a little bit of cosmetic, uh, you know, I'm sure someone can live with that. So. Yeah, for 124,000, I mean, you're going to have to give some pluses and some minuses. The interior on this coach is outstanding. They've done a lot of upgrades. Looking forward to seeing that interior. So, wow, this is a really high-end plumbing bay here. It's got uh, stainless accents there. Electric power cord reel. Yeah, the electric cord reel, electric hose reel. You've got your accesses to your filters back in behind here. Oh, your yeah. mono block. And you know, Andrew loves a mono block on your coach because he wants to be able to, if his ice maker starts leaking, <laughs> he wants to be able to turn just it off and still take a shower to get rid of those woes that he's going through that day. But we all know we all have problems, but sometimes he has a couple more problems that he wants to tell us all about. <laughs> Side mounted radiator, one piece roof cap, air intake up top, which is nice for the engine. Good access back here for the engine. You want to pop that? Let's take a look at that Series 60. I like the colors too. They definitely pop with the red. I think one of these Series 60s alone, I mean, that's probably you're looking at, that's a lot of dough. I know a, a rebuild is, uh, I mean, a 90,000 mile Series 60. That's, that's a good value of the entire coat. I know a rebuild is 25 grand, so a good motor that's not even a rebuild, probably worth even more. You're probably looking at 30, 40 grand just for that motor. And the six speed Allison transmission with it, so that's a good package. Yeah, this is the, is it the 4,000 I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah 4,000 Allison, yeah. So the bigger transmission, it's got all the window awnings as well. So what kind of a awning system is this? So it's going to be the Gerard auto uh, retracting with the wind sensor on the roof. Long extension, gives you good shade. The ones on the roof look a lot better, but sometimes they get up too high and you don't get very good coverage. So it's kind of nice with this being lower and there not being the slide room here. It gives them lots of area. Yeah, that is. Usually you end up with a 36 inch slide room coming out here. Well, now you've burned up. 36 inches your patio line, you know? so. Yeah, you're you're looking at probably I don't know 15 feet of awning space you think oh, yeah. 15, At least that's a lot of awning space You were telling me about this interior. Let's see what's going on yeah, inside gotta check this out. They did a lot of nice modifications to this coat. Now the The leather is a little bit worn. I'll be fully honest. Just that's the first thing that popped out at me yeah, pretty typical because it's more of a vinyl leather, you know, uh, vinyl, I guess, but, uh... I think you could shoot that with a little bit of dye. Yeah, we've got a guy that comes in-house, takes care of that. Look at this. This is big nice league. TV lift. This is new stuff TV. here. Looks like new carpet on the slide-outs yeah, here. Yeah, carpet throughout, actually. Definitely a very modern feel here with... Radiant, radiant floor heat, also. Oh, wow. Looks like they took the TV out of there and brought it over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of shortened everything up here. Good now, nice this stuff. is a nice cockpit area with the two-toned leather on the steering wheel. Yep, that's where the sharp TV was. You can tell. Oh, was that notch? Did you do the work on this coach, Brian? No, I wouldn't have done anything on this coach. If anything, I maybe would have touched it when it was at another dealer that I had worked at at one point in time. But I wasn't there that long. It wasn't entertaining enough for me. Looks like there's an aftermarket stereo, or was that stock? Um, all these, there's, uh, there's a lot yeah, the of ceiling speakers would all be stocked by Monaco, but wow, it looks like six actually, speakers in the yeah. ceiling. Oh, sure. yeah, and then it looks like somebody's added the Blu ray player over here above the TV and whatnot, so that way it's all kind of isolated together. And it's got some Samsung home theater in a box up there, it's got an insert in the back, probably, for that table extension. 
real modern chairs here. Those have to be new. And this is a unique design with the cabinet that opens at an angle that kind of breaks up the whole look there. Triple slide coach, but really a lot of room inside here. Really not small by any means. Yeah, pretty cool seating here. So yeah, those look really comfortable. Dishwasher. Nice ceiling treatment too. Yeah, now what's the deal with these? Is there something that you know makes it quieter? Or what's the whole deal with this whole setup here on the ceiling? Yeah, so this is here for design, but it's also to keep the noise down from your roof airs. So um, kind of a cool feature. Do you know how many uh, roof airs this coach has? Uh, this has three with heat pumps and air conditioning. Got the new refrigerator brought to you by Samsung. Don't have to worry about that uh, RV refrigerator problem. No, a little less stress level there. So this is an aftermarket residential? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Huge shower here. What's going on back here, bud? Uh, a couple controls here on the wall. Just wanted, like Louie talked about, got the gold heat, so that controller there. You've got the nice cabinets here with the TV hidden behind it. You actually bring the TV in and out through this uh, button here on the IntelliTech lighting, which you've got buried in behind there. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that with the televator that kind of comes out from the side there. Oh, that's cool. And this is a ton of room back here with this slide out like you, is that a queen size bed that's king that that's a king wow yeah it is king size bed it looks i mean i can't believe it because it looks smaller because the room's so big back here is this a full it's got to be like a super slide or something yeah, or it's just a slide yeah. with the large closet built in into it monaco is really creative with their floor plans and they uh really came up with some cool designs so this is the hems wardrobe and that's the hers wardrobe see the size oh yeah. Difference, yeah yeah absolutely yeah, makes sense yeah absolutely much much larger wardrobe along the back here and if you're hearing that uh popping sound all these floors are completely covered in plastic here to protect the carpet looks like a, a, D, a cd player uh that's a sign of the times right there just to show you how much technology changes in 15 years is that a washer dryer one one size there yeah combo yeah a fire extinguisher there yeah What's yeah that? from when they used to have that other refrigerator in there oh yeah <laughs> sure they, in case they wanted to battle their way out yeah <laughs> but no we'd come in with our wood repair guy get that cleaned up and get rid of that and make it pretty again all you got to do is just let us know what you want us to do and we'll always take care of it as long as it's accommodating within reasons or you're willing to pay for it above and beyond we will do it for you nice nice pantry too Oh yeah, you get some nice deep slide trays. You don't have to oh, yeah. lose the stuff in the back and let it expire. Carpeted on the slide out trays. Uh, this coach just got here. When did you guys get this coach? Uh, I just went on the market like two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. Louie, you're the guy to talk to if someone's a serious buyer. Any uh, Anything that they should take in consideration before buying this coach. We just gave them a full disclosure. I picked this coach apart a little bit. Any... Uh, well, I think Any like you said form? that the paint has a little bit of the micro check-in, which is very typical. But, you know, I really like the Series 60 engine. I think that's unique for this coach. But really, the, from an inside standpoint, it, this is a 10. I mean, it's been really kept up. We talked about brand new carpet, the TV upgrades, radiant floor heat, residential refrigerators, dishwashers, king-size bed. This thing's got it all. So. Series 60, yeah. uh, 124.9, you're mm -hmm. asking? Yep. Good, clean coach. Uh, if someone's a serious buyer, how can they get a hold of you? 541-998-2640. Uh, Premier RV of Oregon. PremierRVServices.com. Yep. All right, guys. I think first, uh, salesman, to honestly uh, talk about uh, paint checking. Brian, Louie, can't thank you guys enough for showing us this awesome uh, Monaco signature. What is it? Monaco? Executive. Monaco Executive. I highly doubt this coach is going to be on the market very long. I appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.